Hello and welcome to Goals Glow and welcome to the match day vlog for Swansea City hosting Plymouth Argyle. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Going into this one, the Swans and Plymouth sit in very, very similar positions in the championship season. Plymouth last season won League One, while the Swans are only three points off playoffs in the end. Uh, earlier on in the season, when we met at home park, it was victory for the Swans, 3-1 in the end. And Josh Key, uh, former Exeter player, got one. Uh, against, of course, his old rivals. Going into this one, Swans, a few injury concerns. Harry Darling's going to be out, but the likes of Placetta uh, and uh, Sago Jr., I think that's how you say his name, uh, the two deadline day signs for the Swans, uh, I believe, are in contention uh, for today's game, which is really exciting. Uh, we didn't have a great January transfer window, it has to be said. It's lots of people panicked, but, you know, that is just Swansea City, isn't it? Um, Playoff, of course, Morgan Whitaker. Incredible that they kept hold of him because, you know, they had, a, they had an awful January window with players being recalled. Lost their manager at the start of it as well. So keeping hold of uh, Whitaker as well was huge for them. Ex Swans player. I expect him to score today. It's written in the stars. Uh, this game is dedicated from the Swans to Maggie's, an organisation set up to raise awareness for cancer. Of course, you'll know the Swans first kit, the pink kits. Uh, I believe it's every time someone purchases one of them. Half of the um, money from that shirt to purchase goes, uh, gets donated to Maggie's, um, which I think is incredible. Of course, so many people touched upon cancer in their lives, um, and it's a really good organisation to raise awareness. Well then, guys, today, score prediction, Swansea 4, Plymouth 2. The rugby's on after for, the, for Wales. Uh, hopefully, a good day for Welsh sports with Swansea and Wales to win. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Two hours later... Let's get down to the ground. Swans to win 4 2. I'm feeling a little bit confident and a bit optimistic today. Let's find out if that's going to reflect in the performance or not. Come on, the Swans. Let's get down there. Let's get the win. <laughs> The number number ten, more
Union. Oh, oh, ja! Oh. I don't know where to start on that. Um, awful. Absolutely dreadful. Uh, the plenth goal is way too easy for starters. Morgan Whitaker, of course, would be him. He just knew it. It was written in the stars, to be honest. Morgan Whitaker, it was a... It, it, the corner was off the training ground, you know. They've practised that and it's worked. And we just stood still for it. Ronald looked really good. Yates missed, I think it was two good chances. Cullen's hit the bar. And Patino's missed the tap-in. Um, what's new? Absolutely nothing. Because now I, I am actually worried. Because I do think we're in a relegation battle now. Because we look at the games coming up. Hull away. Uh, Leeds home. Ipswich home. Sunderland away. Four games. I genuinely can't see us getting a point out of any of them. And we're five points off the relegation zone. I think... You know, I won't be surprised if by the end of February, we're in the bottom three. It is that bad. Um, we've got to start looking at the free agents, in my opinion, because we we need players. January was awful. Absolutely awful. we got Ronald, who looks a bargain. Placetta, who, yeah, OK, looks OK today. And Sagal Jr., who I'm up for giving the youth a chance, but... He's not going to keep us up on his own. We we need a few more players uh, who are good enough at this level because a few of the players today looked shambolic. Um, and I don't want to be negative all the time, but it's hard to be positive now because today, yeah, it was painful watching, to be honest, guys. But fair play to Plymouth, um, incredible support. Their fans enjoyed the away day. Their first away victory of the season, of course, it would come against the Swans. <laughs> typical Swansea uh, but yeah I'm <laughs> I don't know now what to say because looking at the end of the season I think we're in trouble we are in a lot of trouble we've got to, we've got to start getting points on the board um, and, and quick because at the moment it's, it's not been good enough simple as not been good enough we're going to end up going from three points off the playoffs last season to relegation battle this season Um and we've spent an incredible um, incredible amount of money in the summer. <laughs> and we're producing this. You know, it is laughable at the end of the day. And it's hard to see where the next win's going to come from. You know, you look at Blackburn, Bristol and Cardiff in March. <laughs> Maybe the South Wales Derby we win. That is being very optimistic though. But I'll stop waffling. 
Um, it's not been great for Swansea or Wales. I'm watching the Wales game now. Go home and wear 27 nil down. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've all enjoyed the match day vlog. If you have, please do drop a like and subscribe. I didn't enjoy making it. I can't lie because it was painful. It really was painful. I, I struggle to know how we've not scored. Um, but we didn't really deserve anything. Can't really look at the stats and think, yeah, okay, this is deserve something uh i think a point would have been fair but in the end we haven't got a point so can't look on if buts and maybes but i'll let you all go have a fantastic evening uh and something needs to change sharpish at swans because it's not looking good at the moment see you on the next one very soon guys take care good bye